thing you want to do is you want to grab your processor firmly by mainly just the processor core itself. Take a double-edged razor blade. I like to cut them in half. These things are extremely sharp, so please be extremely careful. But you should know that if you're doing this. Now, notice on all Athlon 64s, there's usually a slight indent somewhere. Here you can see, and I'm starting in a bad spot, I don't know why, and you'll watch the blade punch all the way through, right there in the middle. Now, once you've got the blade in, you just want to use very firm but very careful force. Sometimes you might, like on this part, have to go through it once or twice, but generally once you get the blade all the way through the seal, it's easy to get all the way around the edges of the processor. And here on the corners, I generally just like to push instead of trying to drag the blade through. You should be able to feel it cut real easy. Notice I'm just very carefully, again, with firm but steady force, dragging the blade down. Here again on the corners, I'm just pushing the blade through the seal. Right on the other side of this seal is a lot of capacitors or, or pieces of ceramic that you do not want to bust off. Here again on another corner, I'm just pushing the blade through and then I'll drag it down the edges and notice it looks like it's getting harder for me to do this but what's really happening is the top part of that blade is, is hurting my fingers so what I'm gonna do is I'm grabbing a paper towel kinda like a, a cushion Now here the blade is pretty much went all the way around the processor. I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little further to make sure that I got it all cut. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blade with it inside like this. I'm just going to twist it against the processor core and it's going to pop the heat spreader right off. Be very careful. you have it. Easy, huh? Thank you.